looking at the results of what you're about to see. At the very least, most of us would expect students to be proficient in the basics, spelling, English and simple arithmetic. Well, it certainly appears that they're not, and Gavin Alder has this disturbing report. Who here thinks that they're smarter than their parents when your parents were the same age? Hands up. This is a test not of these children, but of our education system. 50% of our kids aged 13 and 14 are illiterate, are innumerate. Former director of the Australian Council for Education Standards, Colin Lamont, says the system is failing our children miserably. There's a whole swag of kids who've gone through school not being able to read properly and not being able to spell and not being able to construct grammar because it's not taught to them. Spell source. S-O-R-S-E. How did you spell drowned? D-R-O-U-D. Spell obey. Um, O-B-A-Y. Spell naughty. N-A-U-T-H-Y? We gave these seven and eight-year-olds a spelling test for their age group that was standard 35 years ago. The best score was four out of ten. Now, the big question is, does it matter? Does it matter? Of course that... it does. Of course it does. You know, we're so proud of who we are and our future and, and everything, but what are we teaching them? Obviously not enough of the right skills. And here's the proof. We asked this group of 11 to 13 year olds from both public and private schools to do maths and English tests their parents and grandparents passed at the end of their primary school days. You're gonna be doing a maths exam and an English exam. To be fair, these bright youngsters could navigate around the internet without raising a sweat and could no doubt teach their parents a thing or two about doing a PowerPoint presentation on the computer. But our results show they're way behind in the basics of maths and English. Too many kids are reliant on computers, uh, checkout uh, tills, uh, calculators, and without these, they're absolutely innumerate and illiterate. If you need convincing, ask yourself why are there so many parents paying privately run education centres like the Fruition Tuition franchise to help their children with the basics. What does this say? One more. So count the number. Sharon Guggenberger is a former school principal who's moved into the rapidly expanding okay. world of private tuition. Our curriculum definitely has been stretched and it's broader and we probably have less time to focus on the basics in the classroom. So that's the focus at all these after-school tutoring centres. Are school students today dumber than they were 50 years ago? No. The answer to that question is no. Could children in 1955 speak Japanese? Could children in 1955 handle all ranges of technology? The answer is no. Why well, do you say in numeracy and literacy our education system is failing our kids? You'd also have to concede that it's a more complex world and there's a whole lot more to learn. Of course. So it has to be a broader curriculum. It has to be a broader curriculum. But every time you put in some of these Mickey Mouse subjects, you have to make room for the, all these subjects somewhere, and it's inevitably mathematics and English that take the dive. So just how hard were these tests? Well, this is a sample of the maths questions. Arrange the following decimals in order from smallest to biggest. 0 0.48, 0 0.085, 0 0.0375, 0 0.2624 and 0 0.6. Take $1.98 from $5. Multiply $18.19 by 47. Hands up if you found that hard. The results show just how hard they found it. I think the highest mark in the maths was four out of 10. You're right, very ordinary. Six students got just one question correct. Educator Rick Wright marked the tests. I think what it tells me is that, um, that we've got a, a lot of kids out there who need a lot of help. It's appalling, it's tragic, and it's not the teacher's fault, it's the fault of the system that is imposed on teachers and children alike, and I can understand why the parents of these children are outraged. And don't think for a minute things improved in English. These results were the most shocking. Well, I was surprised that nobody had correctly completed any component of the English section. Not one single question. Hmm. Surprised. Horrified? Yes. Yeah, I'd say horrified. 
Fundamentals like properly punctuating paragraphs and correcting basic grammatical mistakes. They didn't, for example, know the opposites for the words discouraging or internal. And they didn't know that this sentence... Rusty was nearly caught because he did not climb quick enough. ...should have read... Rusty was nearly caught because he did not climb quickly enough. The plunge has happened and everybody's now down at this lower level of, of, of understanding of, of what we call the basics. And parents and employers are concerned, if teachers aren't. And they are concerned. We showed parents the tests their children did. If you did them, how do you think you'd go? Fairly well. Yeah, I'm sure that I would pass. It seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? The results have left them shaking their heads in disbelief. I'm shocked, really, that they all failed. And especially considering the schools that they've come from, you know, the cross-section, I think it's quite amazing. English is a concern for everybody, yeah. It's, it's gone down the tubes with just about everybody, I think. And it's a concern some educators say all parents should be voicing. Should we? It's in the West.